So welcome to Challenge the Road. I'm out again, third time today. Actually, it's the fourth time because the first video I've done on this car hasn't come through. So I'm going out again. Now, the big thing is, is how good is this car? And it is just so good, I can't believe. This is the first week I've had the car. Got it last Monday, it's Sunday now. I've been using it off a seven kilowatt charger. The lowest I've got is about 50 miles from the lowest range. God, it's wet today and the reason I wanted to go out in the rain is show you just how safe this car is as well but no it's been absolutely tremendous I'm really really enjoying it um, I think for me it's just it's got to be the best all-round car ever as far as I'm concerned and I've driven a lot of cars but it's just meeting every criteria the steering's fantastic the brakes and the accelerator feel like a normal car which some EVs don't. I've had to adapt that a little bit in the settings, but it's just tremendous to drive. And even now, this is like horrendous English weather. I mean, it feels like it's evening and it's three o'clock. Well, it is evening here because it's dark in a few hours, but it's been, it's been great. And I just keep going out and driving and driving. And there's not many cars that do that. It just feels fantastic. Let's just go through these modes, because if you remember, I said oh, I went home and then I wanted to try more modes and my wife was going, Richard, why you keep going back out? But I've been using a few of the modes a bit more, actually. So at the moment, you have range, which is giving you your maximum distance. Normal, I use quite a bit as well, and that's just normal mode. I can feel it's just the diff is sort of disconnected or the motors and it feels like it's just cruising. So even now, we're at 51, it's going 52. I'm not touching anything. 53, not touching anything. Coming into a 50, we just reduced down. But yeah, so it just sort of drives itself really. And that's one of the features I wanna look at. There is a self-driving capability on this car, but I don't know if it was something that should have been ordered from factory or I can upgrade to, I'm not sure. It's on this screen on here and then it would set, and I wouldn't mind, I really wanted to do a video like, because I'm going to Manchester Thursday, I wondered if I could have put it on self-drive and let the car go and see what it can do. Like, look, you look at this horrible weather. So secure, this car, so secure. So yeah, so I've got to go up to Manchester. I've got to use the public charging network. I have been trying that with BP, uh, BP Pulse. That's a bit of a tongue twist, but anyway, that's been going really well, actually. I've been using that. There's one at the golf club, there's one down. So I'm pretty covered around here, but as we go up the country, we have to see. But Tesla have opened a lot of their charges for other cars, and I'm pretty sure this take can work, hopefully. So if it does, that's gonna buy me quite a lot of different options. I think only 12 or 15 Tesla superchargers are actually out and available for use at the moment. So whether we are find one, we may not on the way, but we may do, but I haven't had any problems so far. The seven kilowatt at home has been fantastic. I've just been running it off peak because a lot of people commented saying, just use it off peak, don't worry about the solar. So I have been. It's been absolutely fine. I mean, I'll give you an example. So yesterday I went go-karting. I've still got the band on. My niece's go-karting, sort of under 14s. So I won. Uh, sorry about that to my niece. But um, electric go-karts for the first time. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. It was so much quieter in the go-karting. There wasn't that smell of petrol. I think that's going to boom that business. I wouldn't even mind doing that business myself. I, I just so enjoyed it and the carts were great didn't have any problems with the carts and of course getting back into an electric car from the go-kart was really good as well I enjoyed that um, going back to the Taycan I, I just can't find much wrong with it and the driving experience I know we had some, some messages about 911s I mean if we come down here I'll put it in gravel I'll talk about gravel a bit but this is like really really wet here horrible conditions and this car is just so so good you know through here it's fantastic and look at the weather we're in and it's just brilliant I use the gravel mode quite a bit um, I really enjoy it on the country lanes when it's like icy or wet I just put it into gravel it feels like it's got like Subaru diffs when you're in like a Subaru WRC car which obviously probably not many people are but when I did you feel like it's got these diffs that grab the tire 
and that's what it feels like. I feel like I'm just sucked to the road, and the the, the wheel is like grind. You hear it actually. You can hear it there. On the, it feels like it's grinding in the road. It's not going to move. So I tend to use that instead of using the lift as well. So if I turn it off, if I come up here and I feel it change now, it feels like it's a different car, like the front's almost lifted a bit. But the gravel gives me 20 mil extra road height. So I just press that. And now we've got some speed bumps here and I can just go over them with ease. And look at that anyway, it's just so relaxing. I think the other key point is when we drove back um, from the go-kart and it was really foggy, really quite dangerous conditions to drive. We were only doing sort of 20, 30 mile an hour. But we had the stereo on, the screens. Apple CarPlay works without a lead, which I like. It just works. I think it's just an absolutely tremendous car. And I don't know where you go. I really, and I said that early on, within about 50 yards of driving this, I thought, I really like this car and normally I'm really on the ball suspensions anything like that it's just fantastic I mean yesterday I drove down to see the skyline which elite finishes have been doing it looks looks mega and I had a lovely drive down in in the Vantage um, and I thought I have got that Porsche key and luckily I had the Porsche key with me because I'm getting really worried about my wife taking this car now because she's been sort of hinting stuff and then I got a message saying have you seen the Porsche key and luckily it's in my jacket and I said oh I think it's in my um, office but I think my office is locked but that's what it's getting now you know this is so desirable people are messaging me saying Richard I'm going to go and buy one and you know I've got my wife trying to take it I've got my other family members wanting to buy one I think it's great now value wise yeah I know you know they've come down and whatever and but at the end of the day, you still got to buy a car and they're still going to depreciate in your normal cars. But if you can save 40,000 at the start, I don't think I'll lose another 40,000 in two years. That's the way I look at it. For 66, I know it's still a huge amount of money, but it's a huge amount of car. I wouldn't feel like I need a, a supercar as well, because in this, I've got a supercar. You know, you know we've got that, that button there, which is like Sport Plus, I call it crazy mode. I mean, you can scare anyone at any time. It's just phenomenal. You just go to that mode, you know, the noise comes on. It's like a sci-fi, whoa. The other thing is I've been using the noise a lot because a lot of people don't know you're there. So when you're driving, you come up against someone who's walking. I had it today, someone was walking along. They didn't see me and I just turn on the Sport Plus. We'll do it again if you listen. Here we go, I've got to stop here now. But you hear that? And I'll just do it up here, you hear? And it's, I really like the sound. And basically it just made them know I was there, otherwise they really didn't know I was there. So that was a bit of a test, and I, you know, I like this button on here. You're guessing I really, really like this car, which I do, but um, it was just a quick update really to say, look, first first week it's gone really well i'm struggling to find any sort of minuses or and if there is it's like the vents here don't move but i don't really care i've sort of set them up i'm not i'm not i can't hold it against this car every car if i went through a car and you said to me like go through like the land rover the range rover those i can pick loads of stuff but on this it's not even worth it's not worth discussing like here yeah it could be slightly closer and it feels like you have to reach, but really, if that's a problem, then I think you've got a problem. It's not a problem. Um, I use Siri a lot. I use the voice controls a lot anyway, so that doesn't worry me. Um, go down here again and say, come along with me for the drive. I'll go through here. There's a bit of a speed bump here, so I'm just gonna press gravel. Car raises up over this, well, it doesn't even feel like a bump, that's the thing. It's so good going slowly. Whatever happens when you get a car, it's gotta be good at going slowly over potholes and bad roads if you're in England. Simple as that. And if it can do that, it's great. And it feels great at 40 mile an hour. Like up here, let's change now to, we're just staying normal up here. Come out of here. We won't go over 60, I hardly ever go over the national speed limit anyway. Here we go, feels really enjoyable, up the hill, hardly any sound. I'd have my favourite song on here. What would we put on? Not that one. 
that's the other thing, it's got this passenger display and my daughters keep playing their own music. Metallica, nothing else matters. Well, that's how it feels because nothing else matters. I don't think there's a car like this. It's just fantastic. I, I don't, I, if someone can bring, you want to bring me an EV to put against this, fine. Bring any Tesla, bring anything you want. This is the best driving EV. It, I can't even class it as an EV at the moment because it just drives brilliantly. It's in these sort of conditions down these type of roads that we turn off here, let's turn off here. Let's put it in gravel. And there'll be no car that can be like this. I'm not even missing the noise of an engine to tell the truth. I actually quite like it being quiet when I'm on the phone and stuff. Here, massive puddle. Nothing. Long here. I feel so safe. And the other thing is, this car, I think it reaches out to men and women perfectly. It's like a 50-50 car. I think that, if, you know, it's like the king or the queen. The queen should have this car. The king should have it. Long here, boom. So safe. And the brakes feel whoever done the development on the brakes they need a medal the brakes are just perfect normally on some cars even like the sto it's not a nice pedal feel it's okay but it's not this is just perfect absolutely perfect down here feels nice again it's just so safe this is in this gravel mode i quite like all these different modes you know through here it's lovely da, da, da. i might just put the exhaust on let's go to sport plus boom playing around beautiful so that's the first week I'm not sure I can explain too much more I hope you enjoy these videos um, we've got more coming soon when we go up to, to Manchester and see how the charging network is but at the moment I can't see me changing this car I don't know where I'm gonna go I've still got the van I'm gonna keep the van um, I still like that and that would be useful for other trips and stuff. So please like and subscribe to the channel. I've got more coming soon. It really helps if you can share the video around and other people can know how good the Taycan is. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.